Welcome to our FB page na Free Reviewers Managed by Lunalin. Now, dito naman tayo sa what is its original prize. Para sa iba pang mga examples sa paghanap ng original prize, pwede nyong hanapin ito sa ating YouTube channel at idugtong lang yung Lunalin para mas madaling ma-sort out yung dati na natin na-upload kung paano ba hanapin itong original prize. At ito ay galing sa isa sa ating mga followers na pinipm niya. Basahin natin yung mismong tanong. Hello ma'am, pa-help po sa math problem na to. Confused po ako kung saan yung tama A or C. And by the way, ito yung mga FB groups na lagi nating tinatambayan. Doon muna tayo sa maling sagot. Ang A or C... Yun yung tanong, kung A ba or C. Dito muna tayo sa maling sagot. Basahin natin yung problem. An item is sold at 360. So yan yung selling price. And is offered at 25% discount. So yan yung discount. Ang tanong, what is its original price? Now, kung ang original ay itong 1,440, dito muna tayo again, dito muna tayo sa maling sagot. I-multiply natin yan sa 25%. This is equal to 0.25. And this is exactly equal to 360. Yung 360, since itong 0.25, that is discount. So itong 360, ito yung discount. So, kung discount si 360, yan yung i-minus natin sa original price na 1,440. So, minus 360. And this is 1,080. Yan yung selling price. Ang selling price sa given ay 360 at hindi 1,080. So, mali na. Now, ngayon, doon na tayo sa tamang pag-solve nito. Basahin natin ulit. An item is sold at 360 and is offered at 25% discount. What is the original price? Yung original price, yan yung kabuuan, kaya 100%. Discount na 25%, yan yung i-minus natin. Sa kabuuan na 100%. 100 minus 25, and this is 75%. So, itong 75%, yan yung selling price na 300%. 60. Now, let's do solution number 1. Yung 75%, yan ay 360. Ang kabuan ay 100%. At yan yung hinahanap natin. Let P para sa hinahanap natin. I-cross multiply lang natin ito. And by the way, bago tayo mag-cross multiply. Itong 75% over 100%, pwede natin niyang i-simplify by finding the greatest common factor, which is 25. Now, ignore natin yung percent sign. Pwede naman natin niyang i-cancel out. 75 divided by 25, and this is 3. 100 divided by 25, and this is 4. So, pwede na natin siyang i-simplify. Now, kopyahin lang itong 360 over P. I-cross multiply lang natin. So, this is 3P. 360 times 4. And this is exactly equal to 1,440. Now, yung inaanap natin ay yung original price. So, therefore... Kailangan natin i-isolate si letter P dito. Since si 3 ay pang-multiply sa P, pang-divide na ngayon siya sa 
1,440. In other words, nag-divide na three to both sides para makancel ito, P na lang ang natira. Now, P equals 1,440 divided by 3 and that is exactly equal to 480. So, ang tamang sagot dito ay 480. Now, another way of solving this, i-revise natin yung mismong statement. Itong 360 is 75% of the original price. 75% of the original price. Let P para sa original price. Kopyain si 360. Ang is equal yan siya. 75% pwede mong gawing 0.75, pwede rin gawing 3 fourth. 3 fourth. By the way, para sa detalye, yung percent to decimal or to fraction, pwede niyong isearch ito, idugtong lang yung lunalin para mas madaling masort out. Dati na natin na-upload regarding sa pag-convert from percent to decimal or decimal to percent or to fraction, fraction to percent, yung mga ganyan. Now, ang off dito ay multiplication at P. Since itong si 3 fourth ay pang multiply sa P, pang divide na ngayon siya sa 360. So, this is 3 fourth at si P na lang ang natira. Now, Division of fraction, kopyain si 360, ang, multipli ang division maging multiplication, reciprocal naman dito sa 3 fourth ay 4 over 3. Para mas madali, pwede i-divide natin ito. 360 divided by 3 and that is 120. 120 times 4 and this is exactly equal to 480. So yan na yung original price. Now, let's double check. Mag-double check tayo kung tama ba yung 480. So, yung original price ay 480. Yung discount ay 25%. So, decimal natin yan. Dito na lang natin ilagay. 25. 0.25. Mamaya na yung 0 na yan. So, this is 40. 24. So, 2 times 8 and this is 16. Carry 1, 8. So, this is 9. Bring down natin yung isang zero at ito pang zero na to. Four plus six and this is ten carry one and this is twelve. Itong sa decimal number na to, one, two, dalawa yan siya. So mag-move tayo twice, one, two. And this is 120. Yung 120 na yan, yan yung discount natin. So yan ang i-minus natin sa original price na 480. 480 minus 120, and this is exactly equal to 360, which is ito yung mismong selling price. Therefore, ang sagot natin 480 ay tama. Thank you for watching and all I hope mayroon kayo naintindihan sa video ito. Thank you and God bless.